glowy skin while you're sick and I really apologize for my voice at the moment because I'm sick as you could tell we're going to fix this face for us to look very presentable even if we're sick we have a lot of redness around the nose and the dark circles I like using the Bare Minerals Primetime Neutralizing Primer this primer has a yellow base and it neutralizes every redness that we have in our face when that's done I like to wait for it for a bit for it to soak in so what I'll do while waiting is normally curl my lashes just to give us that lift in our eye as you can see we look quite a bit awake now and after that neutralizing primer is soaked into the skin, I like to go over with the professional matte rescue simply because I wanted to cover my pores as well as prevent my face from being shiny because I do tend to shine a lot. So we'll just mainly focus this in this area right here where I have quite a big pores around here. really sick and can't be bothered with wearing foundation you can just basically conceal all the stuff that you needed to conceal and go over it with powder but for me I love a good full coverage I like to go over with that with my MAC Pro Longwear just a thin layer so I have like a good base to stick on to I don't want to put too much because Obviously, our goal is to have that no makeup makeup look while you're sick. So basically, we're just bringing out the glow that we don't have when we're sick. To go over it, my scarring with more foundation, just so I can cover that and create a good base and we have to concentrate on the nose the next thing you're going to do is to conceal the bags because obviously if you're sick you don't get enough sleep to conceal the dark circles I like to use this Anastasia cream and contour kit in medium and I like to use this salmon color to counteract the darkness in my under eyes so I'll just use that that much and then pop. But this will also act as a good base for concealer so you don't pile up a ton of concealer. So that's that. And for the concealer, I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC35. This is just a tad bit lighter than my foundation. It will kind of brighten the under eye as well as conceal the salmon color that we put. I like to pat and then go over with beauty blender. As you can see our dark circles are all done and even with looking at the base, our face looks well lit and also 
we look alive. <laughs> Not dead looking, but of course, we want to brighten even more. So I like to use this kind of like yellowy shade from Anastasia Creamy Contour Kit. And I like to use that to brighten the areas that I wanted to brighten. So, the other eye. And around the nose, keep it full. Then might as well do the nose. So now that it's all in place, I like to go over with the same beauty sponge and just spray the product. Now that we're looking like a normal person, we want to set everything that we just did. So I normally would bake with the Face of Australia translucent powder or any translucent powder that you have. But since that we're sick, we don't really have time to do that. So what I'm do going to do is just to press the powder under the eyes we're basically concentrated on the areas where I'm oily and then grab a fluffy brush and just dab it onto the areas where you want to sit as well and then just fluff off everything because your hair is already pounding and you're not feeling well like the last thing you want to think about is to bake your face but if you want to take the paint and bake, then it's up to you. But for me, I'll just dust it all off. And now we have a good looking base. So the next part of this is to bring dimension back to our face. I like to use the Australis AC On Tour Highlighting and Contouring Kit. I'm using this kind of like warm tone color. I like to bronze, this is going to bring dimension back to our face. We don't really need to contour, we just want to bronze it up. So we have shading and yeah, dimension happening in our face instead of just one color. I'm running out of breath already. So I like me, and then my nose. And since we're not going to use any eyeshadow, I might as well just put some bronzer in my eye. Just to give it a bit of energy. Awesome! So now that contouring or bronzing is done, typically I would want to apply blush. But I don't know. Maybe we'll do blush. Just to add a tinge of pink in our face. So I'm gonna use a Jordana. Blush powder in Tony Edge and just swirl just a tiny bit. And then we blend that out with that bronzer. Cool. To add glow back to my face, I like to use the hourglass. Ambient lighting powder and lately I've been loving this art store brush that I found at Gordon Harris Art Supplies. This one is the DAS D A S and it's a gold oval brush. It's so fluffy. So I like to use a combination of condensate light and dim light. So we'll just pop it in here, so you can see, it creates that glow. And 
also in the corner. Typically, for my brows, I would fill them in, but since I don't really feel like filling them in, I'll just go over it with the Brow This Way from Rimmel. Brush it off. It creates a, it fills in the brows and also creates a natural look. Because our goal today is to just look presentable. We don't need to like do the sharpie brows or do contour and whatnot. So I could actually go out of the house looking like this but of course we don't want to have checked lips so I have two options sometimes I would go over with just a lip balm which is the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream which I love but I figured now I feel like something pinky in my lips just so to go with everything so I like to use the Essence Moisturizing Lipstick in All About Cupcake. This has a sheer kind of um, a sheer peachy pink color and it is also moisturizing. And for my lashes, when I'm sick, I don't like applying mascara because it tends to water my eyes since my eyes get really sensitive even if with just like a tad bit of whim it will get it teary so I don't want to have any smudgy mascara so for lashes I'll just curl it again and call it a day and then spread it Last but not the least, I like to set my makeup with a MAC Fix, Fix Plus. Fix my hair. And th this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy and I, I really really apologize if I sound really sick and it I also find it quite hard to explain while I'm doing things since I have a cough, I tend to run out of breath. So if this is all over the place, I really really apologize and I really truly try to film this for you guys because it's the time of the year where everyone gets sick and obviously the last thing you want to do is put on makeup but for me, I don't want to be sick and look sick at the same time. So a little bit of pick me up will do. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and it kind of help you a little bit. And yeah, please subscribe to my channel for more updates and I will catch you later. Bye. You, you, you possess my soul now, honey.